how does a person take a weakness? Reading was a difficulty for you, and, and it was a real difficulty. And now you've turned that into a strength and you've turned it into kind of a life mission. Um, you know, the, the analogous, I guess, is someone who goes through a 12 step program for alcoholism and they come back as a, as a sponsor, right? They're giving back that. It's like the fifth right. stage or the last stage of some kind of grieving <clears throat> process. So mm -hmm. how did that happen for you? How did you turn that weakness into a strength? I think the key really, I mean, it's that whole knowledge is power. I think that getting to know it and getting in wrapping your head around what that challenge looks like. So for, for reading, I was like, I need to teach myself how to read in a way that I'll understand. And so really I went into my master's program mm -hmm. with the mindset of teaching myself, <laughs> reteaching myself how to truly read to enjoy it and how to truly read to fall in love with reading. And so I had a unique perspective there because I, I came from a place, I was with a whole classroom of people who loved reading and who have always loved reading. And here I was coming in with a, mm, not a big fan of reading, but I want to learn to love it. And so I think, I think it all really ties into, I think one of the most valuable things we can take away from this is where is our mindset at? What direction is our mindset going? And so if we go into something saying, okay, I want to learn about this, I'm able to learn about this, that capability of doing it is a huge step with ADHD because so many times we feel incapable of doing things because we feel like we never fail. We just fall. That was a big aha moment for me. I wasn't failing as a reader. I just kept falling as a reader and I, I chose then to get back up and I chose then to keep moving forward with it and keep learning about it and essentially turning it around so that I could use that to help other kids in that area.